Right now, parts of Texas and Mexico are under a tropical storm warning. This as a disturbance approaches the coast. It's forecasted to become the Atlantic hurricane season's first named storm. 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters and meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us now. Natalie, within the past 24 hours, a tropical storm watch has turned into a warning. And that is because land is going to be impacted from whatever the system tries to turn into within the next 24 hours, at least some of those outer bands and the next 36 hours. We're talking about official landfall, but this is potential tropical cyclone one. So basically it is poorly organized. It is an incredibly disorganized system in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico moving to the west a little on the slow side, but what's happening is it just has all this convection wrapping around it. It's having a hard time getting this area of circulation around it, but that broad circulation has been already creating a decent amount of rain along the Texas Gulf Coast, which is why a good chunk from Houston to Brownsville under flood watches through tomorrow because of just excessive rainfall on the outer bands of this. But the reason it's given a potential tr potential tropical cyclone classification is so that the National Hurricane Center can issue these tropical storm watches and warnings due to the fact that it is likely to become an official tropical storm as it approaches landfall, which again will be within the next 24 to 36 hours. If it is named, the next name on the list is Alberto. So this will be continuing out to the west, leaving us alone here in the Sunshine State, but I am tracking our own increasing rain chances in the days ahead. We'll talk more about that coming up.